Hey everybody, this is Golden Bolt, and welcome to part 3 of Pokemon Leaf Green. That's right, so uh, in the last part, we cleared through the lengthy Viridian Forest and uh, caught a Mankey, who was right there. Yep, isn't he awesome? Well, she actually, didn't notice that. Anyway, yeah, we're about to go fight Brock. We're actually gonna put Mankey out front just cause. Uh, the first gym leader of the game. Uh, Brock is uh, referenced by his name there. The rock solid Pokemon trainer. Yes, he does train rock types. Yeah, so, um, let's just get to it. Now, yeah, the trainer before him is totally skippable because you can really just do this. But just for the heck of it, I'm gonna fight him. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. No, he's actually right in front of me. As he, as many LPers have said, yes, light years is a distance, not a time. So now Geo Dude, we haven't seen Geo Dude yet. I mean, you've probably seen it from the anime. I'm. Yep. You can see Low Cake is super effective against him. Defense Curl. The poor man's hardened. Psh. There goes Geo Dude. Yeah, this should be. Oh, what? Zombie. This should be a pretty... Ah, my headphones keep falling. Hold on. It's pretty annoying. Anyway. Yeah, this should be a pretty easy gym uh, clear through here. Mainly because I have two super effective moves. Sandshrew! We haven't seen Sandshrew yet. Sandshrew is actually a ground type Pokemon. I was actually considering Sandshrew to be on my team, but I uh, changed my mind a little later. Because, I mean, he's cool and everything, but... Uh, there are really other Pokemon that you could, that would work a little better, and I'm not a huge fan of ground type Pokemon. I don't know why. I'm just, I just never was. The only real ground types I was a fan of is uh, ones that were partly ground. For example, uh, Swampert from uh, Ruby and Sapphire, and um, Garchomp from the uh, fourth generation. And yes, it's. Greeny all over again. I knew I'd pull off a hit eventually. Mankey. Don't make me get Squirtle out. Don't make me. Alright, you made me. Squirtle, please finish it. Please finish it. Yes, uh, water is also super effective to ground. Now, I'll be right back after this battle because... Oh, make you grid to level 11, how about that? And learn Karate Chop, cool. Actually, I think I have potions and stuff. Squirtle grew to level 13, cool again. Oh, yes, Squirtle's trying to learn Water Gun. Heck yes. Now, what are we gonna get rid of? I'm gonna say... we. How much does damage is water gonna do? Huh. I'm gonna say we get rid of the tail whip, to be honest. I think we'll be okay. I think we're done whipping our tail back and forth. <clears throat> Darn, light years isn't time, it measures distance. That's right, good job. You're so good. How much HP does... Oh, we should be okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and take on Brock, the gym leader. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Peter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard. Just restated what you just said. Foo ha ha. Foo ha ha. You're going to, to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then. Show me your best. Yes, it's Brock. Just like it's just like the anime, he does not open his eyes. Let's go with Karate Chop. That's right. This should, as I said, it's going to be a really easy gym battle. Really, it's going to be nothing. Yeah. Oh. Almost got rid of him. Oh, do you have to do this? Uh, I plan to have Mankey out for the next battle, mainly. Uh, actually, I might just switch to Squirtle. 
Onyx. No, you know what? I'll keep them. I'll keep them both out. I'll see. Yeah, Onyx is a uh, very recognizable from the uh, anime. Now, this battle, I'm not gonna lie. If you pick Charmander as your starter, you are going to want a Mankey seriously because uh, Fire literally does nothing to Rock or like, or neither do normal moves. And here's um, a bind. I think it progressively occurs over time. Yeah, we're gonna go with Water Gun here. And yeah, Onyx is already done. That was the gym battle. Really nothing. Really nothing. Yeah, Mankey is actually doing really awesomely. And uh, yeah, yeah. Didn't think it would go that quickly, and I'm even a little under leveled. Gold received the Boulder Badge from Brock. Yeah, I don't plan on make doing too much. I'm not, I don't plan on being over leveled throughout this game. It enables the use of Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. Gold got 1,400 Pokey for winning. Wait, take this with you. Received TM39 from Brock. Yeah, okay, I was going to have to explain TMs, but I guess Brock can do it for us. TM, Technical Machine Teaches Pokemon Move. Using the TM Teaches a Move it contains. TM is good for only one use. When you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Contains Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Alright, so we have our first gym badge. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna go heal up at the Pokemon Center real quick, and I will be right back. So see you guys in a second. Alright, now that we've beaten Brock, um, there's not really much left we can do here. Oh, but there is one thing I forgot to show you guys. I believe it's up here, something like this. Uh, I, th I think it's here. There's, I think, th I thought at one time there was an item. I'm not sure where it is. I, I know there's like a hidden Pokeball around here somewhere. To find hidden items, you stand in front of things and push. Hey, hold on! I know there's a hidden Pokeball up here. Don't lie to me. There's gotta be. I thought there was. Are you serious? There's no hidden Pokeball? Aha! I knew it! Yeah, I thought there was a hidden Pokeball in there. Yeah. Don't ask me how I know that. Um. Yeah, basically there's just houses in here. You can just go in, you know, mingle with the people. They'll tell you nonsense. Nidoran, sit. Bow, bow. Why do you say bow, bow? Same TV thing? Oh, no, that's the Pokemon Having Fun channel. Pokemon's an outsider. It's finicky and hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you get in a trade. Outsider! Yes. Alright. Did you check out the museum? I actually did. Weren't those fossils from Mount Moon amazing? Yeah, that's actually where we're headed next. Uh, yeah, not really much to do here, as I said. But when we go out here, OMG, it's one of Professor Oak's aides. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Running shoes, yes, the aid gave us running shoes. Gold switch shoes with the running shoes. Press the B button to run, but only where there's room to run. Well, I gotta be get going back to the lab. Good luck getting through Viridian City. There's a letter attached, dear gold. Here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From mom. Oh, This is basically what running shoes lets you do. Thank God, faster movement. It's nice. It's very nice. You'll be using this throughout the rest of the game. Yes, basically Route 3. Um, I know you can find uh, Sandshrew throughout here now, if you'd like to go catch a Sandshrew. And later on you can find the ever-popular Jigglypuff. Yeah, so basically, um, we're on our way to Mount Moon next. That's really where we're going. Uh, now that we've defeated Brock and stuff. Now there actually is a Pokemon that I want to catch in Mount Moon. Believe it or not, it's an odd choice. It's an odd choice. Uh, there's going to be a Pokemon that I catch that uh, I will most likely use for my team. Which again, strange choice for the Pokemon that I for this uh, Pokemon. Now I probably uh, by this time, if I if I come across a uh, Pidgey or something in the road or something. Not in the road, but in the grass, next grass patch or something I find, I'll probably just grab it just to say I have a Pidgey for a backup flyer. And, uh, I, as far as I know, there's a Pokemon Center before the, uh, 
uh, before Mount Moon. So I'll probably just throw him in there. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't plan on having him on the sidebar, if you're ever, if you're wondering. Last Janus, you're mean. I'm very mean, Last Janus. Deal. Alright, now that Squirtle's level 14, we can switch Mankey out. Mankey up front. And another bug catcher. I saw you in Viridian Forest. What are you doing out here? Stop stalking me, please. Thank you. <coughs> bug catcher Colton sent out Caterpie again. Back with the Caterpies. And we've got to scratch him. Yes. The most powerful move of all time, if you couldn't tell. It's clearly Scratch. Yeah, next move I get. Plan on replacing Scratch. Because Leer is still nice to have uh, to lower defense. Weedle, OMG. Yeah, these battles are pretty monotonous as we get closer and closer to Mount Moon. Oh, String Shot, okay, putting yourself up front again. I see how it is. I get it, I get it. <coughs> yeah, also, there is a Pokemon I plan on grabbing in Mount Moon besides the one I plan to use for the team. Which, again, is an awkward choice. But in the long run, it should be really cool. Um, yeah, it's basically, if, if you've heard of the Pokemon Paris, it's uh, kind of like a crab spore-ish type Pokemon. <coughs> and uh, it basically can learn the HM's Flash and uh, Cut, which... I don't plan on teaching to any of my immediate team Pokemon, mainly because it's kind of useless. Uh, they're kind of useless moves. So I'd much rather get an HM Slave. Oh yes! I like shorts, they're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Okay, that's cool. This kid is really weird. Youngster Ben sent out Rattata. Alright, I believe it's time for my fighting moves to... I almost said kick into gear, but that would have been better if I would have used low kick. Ah, man, missed that opportunity. Isn't that crazy? <coughs> Thank you, Greer Level 13. About to use Ekans. Ekans is a new Pokemon. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch back to Squirtle. Have you seen, we haven't seen Ekans in this game yet. Yep, basically a snake. And it does have the ability Intimidate. Lots of Pokemon have that ability that'll cut your attack. <clears throat> oh yes, Rap, of course. Rap is a progressively damaging move, kind of like Poison, but uh, as a, it's not, it's not a status problem. Uh, yeah, it basically it it won't it won't uh, remain with you afterwards. It's just gonna hurt you more progressively throughout the battle. Yeah, I don't believe it. That's the weirdo who likes shorts. Ugh. Shorts are gross. I'm just kidding, of course. Alright, probably would be a good idea to heal up uh, Squirtle a little bit. And put him up front, probably again. Oh, he's really close to evolving. Oh my gosh. Alright, bug catcher. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're just gonna pass that girl up there. Because these trainer battles are nice and everything, but I want to get to Mount Moon. Well, catcher Greg would like to battle, and he's using Weedle. Uh, where's the creativity, people? I mean, as you can tell, how many Weedles I've beaten. Weedle is not a very good Pokemon. Ugh. You guys gotta get with it, man. <coughs> awkward silence was awkward there for a minute. You're down, Weedle. You're down, you're down, you're down. Alright. Oh, Caterpie. Another wise choice. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna cut the rest of this battle. I'll see you guys afterwards. Ugh. Oh, yes, believe it or not, that guy did have, um, uh, Kakuna and Metapod afterwards, and, uh, scored a level up to 15 in there, so I did put Mankey up front. Yeah, I'm I guess I'm trading off every other level. So we got another bug catcher. Let's see how many Pokemon he has. Oh yeah, the best choice for Pokemon ever, as you can clearly tell, because it keeps working. Ah, oh, you guys are hopeless. I don't understand how a 0.8 inch bug 
is uh, doing even four, uh, four, four HP worth of damage. It's still yeah, hard to believe. Yay, Caterpie goes down. Oh, and surprise, surprise, Metapod. Man, you guys just keep pulling out the big guns here. Are you just gonna keep using hard? You are. I knew it. Alright. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to cut this... This too. I don't want... The, I just don't want the repetition for you guys, so... Yeah, I'll see you afterwards. Oh my god, finally done. Yeah, this is the grass where I believe you can go find a Jigglypuff in. I'll see if I can come across one for you guys. Oh, yes. Let's see if this is Jigglypuff. No, it's actually Spiro. And you know what? I'm probably just gonna grab it. Just, I'll, I'll probably just grab the Spiro now. Yeah, Spiro is... Oh, God. Whoa, God. Whoa, God. Whoa. Yeah, flying is, if you couldn't tell, super effective to fighting. Wow. You're quite the, uh... Quite the menace there, Spiro. Yeah, as I said, Spiro will not be shown on the sidebar, mainly because I will not be using him at all. I just want to have him just for a backup flyer, because, uh... My primary flyer, um, will not be able to fly in until he gets to his, uh... Until he gets to his, uh... Uh, max evolution. Let's see if... If I can't find Jigglypuff in here, then, uh... Oh! No. What are you getting at? Oh, well, she is a Jigglypuff, so I guess we can take a look at Jigglypuff right there. <laughs> this is gonna make this pretty annoying because Jigglypuff has a move called Sing, which puts you to sleep. And she used it. Awesome. And there's no getting out of it. Until, uh... Squirtle here decides it's time to wake up. Okay, so you're gonna put me to sleep, and you're gonna spam defense raising, and you're gonna constantly raise your defense. Wake up! Uh, or not, you're gonna try and disable me. What other move do you have, like pound or something? Yeah, defense curl, you're gonna keep raising your defense. What? Oh, there we go, Squirtle woke up. Although I believe Water Gun is a special attack. So, yeah, the water gun's definitely a special attack, so it didn't... Oh, okay, now you're being like that. So it was not affected by a physical defense raising. Ah, you are sneaky. Oh, I'm disabled no more! I say that in, like, an epic way, but, you know. It's, it's, yeah, pound, I guess, that was the other move. So you just displayed all of your moves to me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Squirtle woke up. Surprise, surprise. Squirtle must be tired of sleeping. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna go with Bubble, finish you off. Yeah, so that's Jigglypuff, everybody. I'm pretty sure Jigglypuff can be found in that grass. Um, but I know it's rare. Or maybe it was just I was remembering her, but I was pretty sure... Yeah. What, what, what is your deal with... Why do you think I touch, would touch you? Route 4 is at the foot of the mountain moon. Okay. What do you... That girl's weird. Anyway, ledge jumping. Good night on me? Oh, no, I guess not. I thought there was. No. Kid, I do not feel like fighting you. Yeah, mountain moon ahead. I think there's a Pokemon Center up here. I don't know if that guy battles you or not, but you know what? Let's not think about it. Yeah, here is the Pokemon Center. I guess I will uh, stop here. What is that? It's a newspaper. Oh. Team Rocket attacks Cerulean citizens. Not a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news. Who is Team Rocket? I don't know. You guys know? I have no idea who this Team Rocket is, and I doubt we're going to have anything to do with them in the future. Yeah, so this is the box, I guess, because now we're depositing Spiro into it. Box 1. Uh, the best way to do it, in my personal, uh... 
opinion would be to do uh, move Pokemon rather than like deposit or store because move you can actually get a good look at everything. And granted, there's like nothing in here, but I mean, with move you can even deposit him and withdraw Pokemon anyway. Yeah, so Sphero is just gonna sit in there really until uh, if the time comes when I need him, which I doubt. But yeah, I'm just gonna heal up here. And uh, I guess we're going to save Mount Moon for the next part, everybody. So, yep. Uh, as always, uh, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, favorite, share it, whatever you want to do. Uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next part. So this, is, this has been Golden Bolt, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.